I'm gonna be honest, I'm not a Vic Vert guy. My weapons of choice are Promark Naturals in 5B. Not that I've got anything against Vic Vert, I've just never got any longevity out of the self-proclaimed perfect pair. But what about Thomas Lang's signature stick? Surely these monsters can stand the test of time. Well, here's a review, so let's find out. Once you pick these up, straight away you're gonna notice this stick is massive, almost comically so. The length is about 410 millimeters and the diameter is 16.5 millimeters. You can see here in the comparison beside a 5B, there's quite a big difference in it. One of the things I love is this thick short taper. The idea being that it's a lot more robust than a long thin taper. This will add a bit more weight to the stick, they come in over 62 grams, which in my opinion, and for me personally, that's a good thing. So right away it's very, very beefy. You can feel that, we've talked about it. It's, a, it's around like a 2B, 2B on steroids. And um, so if you're not into big thick sticks, this wouldn't be for you. Uh, let's see what the, uh, the bounce is. The bounce is pretty good, it's a heavy stick also. So, the heavier the stick, the better the bounce back, I've always found. So that's really good. Check it out, match grip. Just right off the bat, one thing I would complain about, and it's just my personal preference, I don't like the, the, the lacquer, I really like the white, and I'm looking for a white stick to take constantly out with me, but um, the, the lacquer, just the feel of it on the hand, I'm not the biggest fan, I like a natural feel down the bottom. So if I could get white on the top and then just where my fingers are, that could be all natural, that would be just fantastic. The acorn style tip helps with dynamics, giving a lot of attack. This is achieved by covering more surface area on the skin and the symbols. I love the white finish on the stick and the Thomas Lang logo and signature is a very classy touch. But at the same time, this white finish, I don't know whether it's paint or lacquer, or whatever you want to call it, makes it handle like a bar of soap. So when you're late into a two and a half hour show, you're kind of going to need a towel handy. Okay guys, just finished up five gigs and I'm just going to do a little talk on natural finish. Not so much as a chip uh, on any of them, any of the, the, the tops of the, the heads, uh, as you can see there. Like, there's nothing. For the five gigs that I did with it, no, there's not a huge amount of, um, the, the lacquer has held up really, really well, which I'm kind of shocked at, because um, I thought it would hold up well, but not this well, you know? There's very little marks on it. So all in all, you know, these things, they can hold up to a beating. Okay, so these sticks will make you that little bit louder. But what I noticed was it wasn't so much about being louder, it was more about getting a true full tone out of the drum. It was a little harsh on the cymbals volume wise, but that was just for my taste. I love these, but they're not gonna be my to go to stick. They're just that little bit too heavy and a little too big. But, you know, I'll always have a place for them in my stick bag. And why is that, you ask? Because, you know what? They just can't be broken. And I never thought I'd say that about a Vic Vert stick. Guys, we'll leave it at that. Don't be afraid to hit the like or dislike button. Comment, let me know what you think about these sticks and show the drummer some love by hitting that subscribe button. Guys, take it easy and I'll see you on the next cartoon. Guys, hit me up on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. And if you like what you saw here today, you can see any of the other videos. Just click on them here on the screen.